My name is Timothy Trespass, and I am a targeted human being. I wanted to show you my new shirt I found. Uh, I bought it. It says, the most powerful weapon in the hands of the oppressor is the minds of the oppressed. This was written by Pico, who, in my understanding, was an African man. I don't know what country he was from. Um, freedom philosophist and a political prisoner. And it's a very true statement. Um, perfect example of such is my poor dear wife, Petra, who is being uh, V2K'd to insanity, uh, synthetic telepathy, a artificial intelligence heuristic language program uh, connected to remote neural biotelemetry feedback, basically comments on, uh, makes judgments about everything she thinks, says, or does, uh, even the littlest gestures. She's consistently abused, demeaned, um, threatened to be taken to a detention camp for the rest of her life. And, you know, if this thing just repeats stuff over and over and over and over again, and frequently it takes words and mixes them up and matches them and tries to make language out of it. It's basically like having 12 nasty, mean little children tugging at your shirt sleeves all day, all night, never shutting up no matter what you say. And uh, <clears throat> it's... It's taking, sapping, sucking her energy. It's sucking the life out of her as she tries to defend herself. And I keep telling her, walk away, walk away. Don't engage the enemy. If the enemy is more powerful than you, has better weapons than you, uh, more fighters than you, do not engage them head on. Never, never. It's like the bully in the hallway at school. You walk by, they say something mean, you turn around, you say, blah, 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 and now you have a fight. If you keep walking, you say nothing, you ignore it. All right, it has an effect. And I keep reminding her that in her core, in her heart, in her soul, she is correct. She is righteous. She is a good person honest and true and forthright and accepting and uh, courageous and creative, intelligent. I mean, just the kind of person you'd want to wipe off the planet if you were busy doing horrible stuff to the rest of the people. Um, we've seen this before, folks. Every time there's ethnic cleansing or uh, whatever you want to call it, it's the same thing. However, here in America and in Europe, it's supposed to be a free country, so they do it covertly because if the population knew what was really happening, they'd be outraged. I don't know. All I have is my small perspective on this, and it's very difficult to watch someone you love being tortured in a way that you know is... is factual because you've had it yourself in a way that most people don't seem to understand or believe unless they've had a course on technology and development of technology. I happen to be very scientific minded and uh, understand this you know, as best I can without actual documentation. The theory is there. There's patents for the devices. Anyway, I have no internet, so I have to shut up. Thanks for watching. God bless you all.